Rivy 2007 Jaguar X Type XS in grey. If we start with the offside front tyre, plenty of tread on the front tyre here, you've got a good 4 to 5 mil of tread there. Look at the offside front alloy, nice condition, you've got a few little minor scuffs to it here and there, as you can see on the alloy there, and some minor scuffs around the corner, but no signs of any real curbing at all, so not bad condition at all for its age. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, uh, taking a good look, it is a little bit wet. Um, no signs of any dinks, dents, and especially no signs of any major damage at all. A couple of light bodywork scratches that could just do with a polish. I don't know if you can see that there. Very light, mirror caps are in nice condition. Looking at the driver's door itself, again just a couple of light little scratches um, to the car there. And to the bottom of the door here. As you can see, a few little marks. Again, very light, so it should polish out. And a couple of scratches to the bottom here, on the bottom of the door sill, as you can see. Um, so that's quite a long, deep scratch, but again, it is on the bottom door sill there. Apart from that nice condition though, um, looking at the door edge, you've got a few very minor little nicks here and there. That just require some paint. No signs of any damage at all to the roof. I've had a good look before it was wet. Looking at the rear passenger door, again, just a couple of little nicks here and there in the paintwork, a couple of light scratches as you can see again the majority of them will polish out door edge on the rear passenger door is fine, that's nice and clean and looking at the rear tyre here again, apologise it's a bit dark but there you go um, you've got around 3mm of tread there and then looking at the offside rear alloy uh, you've got some curbing to the top there so be aware of that apart from that no real signs of any other curbing but there is quite a bit of paint bubbling and a few little marks on the alloy here and there. Moving to the rear of the vehicle, uh, you can see a bit of glue there on the bodywork, um, but it doesn't feel loose at all. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle, looking at the back of the car here, no signs of any damage at all, no signs of any dinks or any dents. Uh, you've got your rear parking sensors there. A couple of scratches to the back, very few light scuffs on the back here as well, going across the parking sensor. Again, very light, so it should polish out. A little bit of a stone chip there in the bumper, and then a couple of scratches to the back of the boot lid here, as you can see. Uh, again, most of these should polish. These are a little bit deep, but nothing really too concerning. But looking at the back, it does appear to be in good condition. Again, some slight glue marks here, so as you can see, not the best. Uh, um, fit there on the world, but uh, take a look in the boot. Nice condition in the boot, nice and clean, and you do get your spare wheel and all your bits and bobs in there as well, so that's great. Moving to the near side of the vehicle, I've got the near side rear tyre, and you're looking at around 3mm of tread there as well, and then look at um, the uh, near side rear alloy. Uh, you can see a bit of lack of peel to be honest, uh, I'd definitely give it a refurb, um, a lot of the paint starting to come off, so it would need a respray or a refurb. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, there is a small dink on the front passenger door edge, which I'll show you in a second. Apart from that, no signs of any other dinks, dents or any damage at all. Door edge on the rear passenger door, very little minor marks here, just requires some paint. Apart from that, a couple of light little scratches to the bodywork again. So again, car would really benefit from a uh, full polish. But as you can see on the bottom there, again, very light scratches. Nothing major at all there. And then look at the uh, front uh, passenger door edge. Very clean with no signs of any chips. And then moving closer to the front again, just a few signs of scratches. A couple of light little scratches to the mirror caps as well. But nothing major at all, car's in nice condition. Very, very small dink there on the front passenger door. Again, it is a bit wet, so it would be a bit hard to see, but it is there. And then looking at the near side front tyre, again, you're looking at around 3mm of tread. Um, looking at the near side front alloy, some very light curbing, as you can see. But again, you can see a lot of the paint starting to peel and starting to come off on the inside of the alloy, so it, it uh, may require a refurb if needed. Moving to the front, you've got a couple of light scuffs to the front arch there. And then look at this front bumper. Um, looks like a bit of a bad fit, to be honest. It's uh, just a fibreglass bumper. Um, you can see where they've glued it on around all the edge here. 
And you can see uh, it's not even been painted really. So it is a different colour to the actual car. I don't know if you can see that from the video, but it is a darker grey um, than the actual car. So it hasn't been painted yet and it does feel real fiberglass. So just be aware of that. Uh, slight little crack in it there as well, as you can see. And then moving around to the other side of the bumper, again you can see all the glue finish there. A uh, bit of a bad fit to be honest. You can see some here where it hasn't been painted and all to the bottom there. And a slight crack there as well in the offside front corner. And then also on the uh, offside front corner here on the arch it's started to crack as well. So a few cracks on the bumper and it isn't painted either. Um, taking a look at the bonnet again, it is very wet but no real signs of any stone chips at all. It is a very clean looking bonnet, it's just a shame about that front bumper. Also, I did forget to mention, offside rear bumper, the near side, sorry. You can see there's uh, quite a good crack in the bumper there. So as you can see, I can just about get my thumb underneath there. So that is quite a good crack on the near side rear bumper. Take a look inside now though, have a look in the rear seats, get the full black leather interior, real nice condition for its age, as you can see the leather does look really well, slight bit of wear into the holster there but you would expect that of a car of its age, but as you can see very clean looking inside, no signs of any damage, no rips or tears, and the back of the seats are in nice condition, and the same with the door as well, real nice finish there. Looking inside in the driver's seat. Again, very nice condition. Quite a bit of wear into the holster as you can see. Um, but again, with a good leather polish, should fetch them out. But again, very nice condition. And the same with the front passenger seat as well. As you can see, very nice. And look at the rest of the condition of the vehicle, dashboards, etc. You got that nice wood uh, trim. Very nice condition to be fair. Steering wheel's in nice condition. Slightly if you look a couple of marks on it. Overall though, very nice inside. And then stepping inside the vehicle, I can show you the mileage and things. Now, if we just get the keys, I can show you the keys for the vehicle. Do apologise about that, but as you can see, two sets of keys for the vehicle, which is great. And if we just get the car started, as you can see, no problem starting the vehicle at all. I look at the mileage, 98,511 miles on the clock, and no symbols that are appearing on the dash there that you need to be aware of at all. Like I said, mud functional steering wheel is in very nice condition. Looking at the setup here, you've got CD and radio. No problems at all with the sound there, still sounds great and exactly how it should. Heated seats, you can see the light in the kit there, it's on and off. And no problems at all with any of the blowers. Again, all functioning exactly how it should, so that's great. Looking at documents now. Look at the V5, the car's had two owners. It does come with an MOT certificate. It turns here March 29th, 2014, so plenty left on the MOT. And you do get full non-franchise service history. Um, if we take a look here, 15,000 there, you've got 30,000, and I do appear that's that Jaguar, so it has got one franchise stamp. 41,000, 58, 74, and the last one there at 90,000 miles. Plenty of service history. So that's great as well. But there we go, that is the uh, 2007 Jaguar S-Type XS-TD in grey. For a car of sage, it's not in bad condition.